put me on a video, huh? Yep. All right. Now it's time for her view. Okay, well, you know. Or his view, depending <laughs> on what point of view you take. Yeah, but I like my view. That's a topic for another day. I like my view. So you said you were going to talk about boat parts. Oh, that's right, yes, because I'm in the stern. Mm-hmm. And you're in the bow. Mm-hmm. But uh, the bow, spell B-O-W, some people think you're in the bow, but you're not in the bow. No. A boat the doesn't have a bow. It has a bow. It has a bow. And I am in the, in the stern. But when you bow, you B-O-W. But if you're <laughs> talking about trees, you B-O-U-G-H. <laughs> so. But if you're talking about a bow and arrow, it's a B-O-W. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so there, there Which is go. a bow. So there you go with the, the Or a hair bow is also B-O-W. So see, it's and, just like read and read. We yeah, could just go well, on and on about these things. Well, well that's the, the, the vagaries of the English language, yes, right? Yes, exactly. But, but uh, we were talking about, oh, I, I, I know what it was. It was I was saying how, how idyllic it was out here. Yes. And, We're uh, trying to use all our vocabulary today in and, two videos. And, and so, thought, so far we have, we have what? We have vociferously. Vociferously. We have yeah. ephemeral. Ephemeral. We have vagaries. Vagaries. And then I said. No, and then we have idyllic. No, I said it. And then I said it's, it's, but it's euphorically idyllic. Yes, and then we have euphorically. So see, we're we're using all of our multi-syllabic. Yeah, that's, see? that's correct. See, multi-syllabic. <laughs> it's also multi-syllabic. Our most our multi-syllabic words today. But I can't come up with a multi-syllabic word that is appropriate for describing you. Because <laughs> you know, I can't I can't work like you know, nice, pretty, sexy. Kind, <laughs> giving personality into one word. Oh, you're you're funny. I can't do it. This doesn't go that way. It's at least not one that I know of. Well, you should just say that I'm a gracious plenty then. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. Cause you know that's kind of southernish and kind of, you know. Yeah. Not that I'm really southern because I'm actually was born on the east coast, which is where my parents are from. So yeah, but you lived half your life in Kentucky almost. Yeah, well, <laughs> about now about a third of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. True. Enough to count. Yeah, but <laughs> I never did really. I was never from there. See, no. it doesn't matter how long you live there. That's you're right. still from away. You still, you're, you still were not a uh, a native. No. Not a native Kentuckian. No, I could talk that way though. But when you, when I met you, you, you were, you were a Kentuckian. Yes. So. Well, yes, I lived there. And I brought you across the river to the north side. <laughs> to the big city. Where, where you turned into a Buckeye. <laughs> to the big city. That's funny. That's right. That's what happened. Just a. That reminds me of the Beverly Hills Billy song. You know. They yeah. said California is the place you ought to be, so they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is. Swimming pools, movie stars. Well, there you were, just a scant 28 miles away in, in Cold Spring, Kentucky. Scant, you know, that's I a good... Just, I just didn't know it. Nope, you didn't. I was just there, I'm toiling sure away at toiling away at the Kentucky <laughs> Center for Mathematics. Right. I'm sure glad I expanded my profile that extra five miles. Having bad dates with guys from Match, <laughs> who had that. talked to me about how how snobby people who graduated from college were, uh -huh. and you know, have a lot look at this guy like, did you even read my profile? I work at the Kentucky Center for Mathematics. I kind of had to have a degree to work there. Just saying. But well, don't worry, anyway. dear. I, I was having bad days with girls who were scientists and, um, you know, be behavioral specialists and so on and so forth. It didn't matter, you know, because my profile only encompassed a 25-mile radius. And then when I went to 20, or when I went to 30, there you were at 28. Yeah, see? There you were. There I was. And God bless that day. Yes. <laughs> And, and look, and seven years later, seven and a half years later, here we are. Here we are. 
and a canoe, just a couple of lovebirds. Yeah. Smiling in the sun. Speaking a little philosophy from the canoe. Yeah. Well, I think that's a, I think that's an uplifting note to end this one on. Okay. So I'll say goodbye to this bird. Oh, let me have like a little uh, more. Let me just have a couple yeah. more seconds of beefcake here, because you're all like muscular and shiny, and uh, so, you know it's oh, kind of. You, you mean you want to have the last word? Is that what? Oh uh, no 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 no. Oh <laughs> no. No, you know I'm not that. You know I'm that's, not that person. I'll let you have the last word, honey. Go ahead. That's absolutely true. You do not, You are not someone who insists on having the last word. You usually have a lot of the best words though. <laughs> so with that, I'll say, or what?